So this is 10.4 part two. It says convert the rectangular equation to polar form. So we know that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And if we take the square root of this, we get that radius is equal to four. So there's my equation in rectangular form. Here it says, uh, or in polar form. Here it says convert the following rectangular equations to polar form. So again, this we know is um, r squared. And x we know is r cosine theta. And so then I can solve for r. We can take out an r, get r minus 6p cosine theta. And so you could take r equal to zero, but your radius cannot equal zero because then you don't have a graph. All you have is the pole, the origin, if r equals zero, okay? Um, but if you take this equation and you solve for r, you get this as your function. And so that's going to be the equation in polar form. Here, if you replace y with r sine theta, and then you div solve for r, so you divide both sides by sine, and then just remember that one over sine is cosecant theta. And then finally here, y squared is r sine theta squared, x is r cosine theta, so we have r squared sine squared theta equal to 5r cosine theta. If we set everything equal to 0, if we take a factor out an r, and set r equal to 0, r sine squared theta minus 5 cosine theta equal to 0. Here we're just going to get the pole, so that's not really going to give us the equation of this. So if I keep solving for r, I will get 5 cosine theta on the right hand side. Divide both sides by sine squared, I get over sine squared theta. And sometimes the computer will take that, sometimes it won't. You'll have to write 5 cotangent theta cosecant theta because cosine over one of these signs is cotangent and then one over sine would be cosecant. So there we go. Um, now in slope in polar form theorem, it says if f is differentiable function of theta, then the slope of the tangent line to the graph of r e f of theta at the point r theta is dy dx, which is dy d theta over dx d theta, f of theta cosine plus f prime of theta sine my over negative f of theta sine theta plus f prime theta cosine theta, provided of course that dx d theta does not equal zero at that point. Um, the tangent lines at the pole. So if f of alpha equals zero and if f prime of alpha does not equal zero, then the line theta equal to alpha is the tan is tangent at the pole graph of f of theta. Now these are for definition purposes only. We will not be using this um, information all too much in this class, but you will be diving into this more depth once you get to Cal 3. So keep that in mind, these definitions will come back. Usually when you cover Cal 3, you cover all of this material again. Um, so you should be seeing this information before you're expected to start doing the derivatives and things like that and all the rest of the calculus in polar form.